So today we're just going to do a short introduction into the different types of market failure and what market failure is before we move on to look at all of the individual types of market failure in um, a lot of detail in the videos as well. So this topic is going to have a look at understanding market failure and then just a brief intro into what the three different types of market failure are. So we will have a look at positive and negative externalities, the under provision of public goods and information gaps. So before we do that, you just need to understand what market failure is. So market failure is when the market is unable to efficiently allocate scarce resources to meet the needs of society. So that just goes back to your first lesson in economics, where you start to have a look at consumer wants and you have a look at resources um, and consumer welfare as well. Um, and how markets can't always efficiently allocate resources to meet the needs of what everyone wants as well. So what's that? what that is known as is allocative inefficiency. So allocative inefficiency is quite a large topic in year 13. So when you're starting theme three, we mentioned allocative inefficiency quite a lot. So it's basically where supply and demand does not meet. So when you've had a look previously at when there is excess supply and excess demand, they are examples there of market failure and therefore also allocative inefficiency. So the government then gets involved when there is market failure in a market um, and they intervene to try to eliminate or reduce market failure. When government intervenes in a market, um, that's basically just called government intervention as well. So in front of you, you then also have an example of um, a really topical market failure issue at the minute. So global warming constitutes as the biggest market failure in history of capitalism. So what I would like you to do is just jot down whether you agree, disagree, why you agree or disagree to that statement. So just pause the video here. OK, so let's bring this back to the UK. Um, we're just going to have a think about these two questions here. So if you think about the UK as a whole, the UK, um, if the UK was a free market, I want you to answer both these questions. So what problems might occur if all economic activity was left solely to private firms and private individuals? And secondly, if there's a lack of government intervention, what problems might occur? So pauses here. This should take you about three to four minutes just to jot down any ideas that you think around that. So I mentioned earlier um, that the price mechanism um, is one of the things that we are going to have a look at. So we expect the price mechanism to allocate scarce resources. However, market failure occurs when resources are misallocated due to three things. The existence of externalities, the under provision of public goods and information gaps as well. There are two different types of market failure. First type of market failure is complete market failure. That happens when the free market fails to supply any of the good or service which is demanded. For example, if um, the market was left to itself and there was no government intervention, there would be um, complete market failure in the market for streetlights. They would not be provided by private firms or by private individuals because there's no profit incentive for a firm to supply them. We can also have partial market failure. That exists when a market for a good or service exists by the overproduction or underconsumption for the good or service. This happens um, in lots and lots of examples that we can see on a daily basis. Um, for example, we see the underconsumption of education, we see the overproduction of diesel cars, and there are lots of examples that I'm sure that you can think of. What we could also have um, in complete market failure is we then have what's called a missing market. And that's where a, that's a market where the market mechanism fails to supply any of the good or service. So there's seven examples here for you. What I would like you to do is write down what you think is wrong in these markets. So what is the market failure? You've got drugs, house prices, fruit and vegetables, second hand cars, water. And by water, I mean water coming to households. So the stuff coming out of your taps rather than bottled water, um, rainforests, diesel and petrol cars. So if you pause the video there, you can then do that. That should take you about 10 minutes. And the final thing that we are going to look at today um, is a SWOT analysis. So Heathrow Airport is considering a further expansion. What I would like you to do is complete a SWOT analysis for Heathrow doing this. 
And I want you to consider all of the following. The strengths, so the internal positive factors for Heathrow as a business to expand their business. What are the weaknesses? So the internal negative reasons for them. So think about money, the cost, etc. What are the threats on Heathrow Airport of doing that? So the external negative factors. So think about um, traffic congestion. Think about the negative impact they might have on the rest of society. And what are the opportunities? So think about the increase in jobs that it's going to then potentially create and the increase in tourism. What's the impact on the government? Positive, positive factors and opportunities. And the final question, will it then cause market failure? So that is the end of this, um, this video. We will next week then start to have a look at other things like externalities. Thank you very much.